morning, you guys. Yes, it is 5.14 in the morning, but it is also mommy alone time, which means I'm going to sit down and fold three laundry baskets full of clothes and watch my favorite show, Undisturbed. Yes, so welcome you guys, or welcome if you are new. My name is Laurel Bonfanti. I give a lot of like cleaning motivation and just life motivation, different quotes that I like, etc. If you like that kind of video, you should um, you know give this one a chance, and if you like it, give it a thumbs up and check out some of my other content. Um, and yeah, so let's just go ahead and get into this video. As you can see, I'm just doing a ton of laundry. Um, <laughs> it's super early, but the older I have gotten and the more kids that I have had, <laughs> I have three, the more I realize how important it really is to just have alone time and just me time. And I used to think that I loved sleep, that I would completely prioritize my time around sleep and it was really really ridiculous <laughs> um the reason I say that is since starting to get up really early 4 30 and 5 um I have learned that I actually love taking care of myself in other ways other than just sleep um I go to bed early so it's not like I'm not getting enough sleep so I am so when I'm getting up early and I'm doing the things that I want to do for myself whether that be clean like undisturbed fold laundry undisturbed watch my favorite show journal um read a book whatever the case may be I have found that it is so incredibly important to just I want to say even parent myself to get my butt out of bed to you know take care of myself take that shower wash my face make myself look and feel pretty and I do think that if you look good, you feel good. And the other thing that has really, really been helping me, I don't know if anybody else can relate to this. I'm sure you can because there's books out there. There's plenty of people who speak about it. But put your shoes on, like tennis shoes. Um, for me, slippers, my Ugg slippers. Just put something with like a hard sole on your feet and then start to tackle your to-do list and everything else that you want to get done for the day, even if it is just self-care because I understand that can even be a chore. Um, you know, a lot of people say, oh, I love skincare and I love doing my makeup and I love taking the long everything showers and whatnot. And while some people do, some people really find that to be a chore. So maybe just take some time to relax, reflect, and just hop into it with the idea that, you know, the end result is I'm going to be taken care of so I can take care of others, my kids, my spouse, um, whoever it is. So just message in a nutshell is just, just take care of yourself. You guys, um, one day at a time, one little step at a time and just give a tiny bit more of yourself each and every day. Just a little tiny bit more every day is moving you so much further towards the goal that you have. And if you don't have a goal yet, you don't have a vision of what your goal looks like yet. You really need to sit down, do some soul searching, some reflecting, listen to some music, write, do brain dumps, whatever it is. You have to find the vision and the goal before you can just dive into it inch by inch. Otherwise, you're inching towards nothing and it's just a spiraling mess. Take it from me, been there, done that. But since I have found my groove, I have found my step in my routine that is really working for me. Not only am I getting, you know, stuff around my house done and playing with my kids more and, you know, being with my husband and prioritizing family life, but I have like opened up a whole new realm and door to myself, like self discovery by waking up 4 30 or 5 o'clock. Um, and journaling and writing down everything I think about no matter how stupid it may look or seem or whatever like these are the things that are working for me and that are motivating me and I'm definitely somebody who it, it, it's crazy your brain doesn't know the difference between a lie and the truth and so if you tell your brain every day I love to exercise your brain is not gonna know that you don't really like to exercise it's gonna just say okay Laurel likes to exercise. I guess we're exercising because this is what she likes to do. 
And the other thing with my brain personally is once I start seeing evidence of something, I'm like, wow, whatever I'm doing, it is working. And if I see that evidence, it motivates me even more tenfold. So with that being said, all of these different routines that I've started since waking up earlier, they have completely created a mind shift and a body shift. I have been exercising for mental clarity and not that I was trying to, you know, lose weight or anything like that, but I have. I've shaved off a couple of pounds. I've got a little bit more tone. And most importantly, I am just so mentally clear and I'm happy and I'm finding joy in where I'm at in my journey right now in my life with my kids and my husband and I'm I'm truly just feeling like I'm thriving even here on YouTube. I may not have a ton of videos on YouTube, but you know what? I really really feel like I'm putting in my effort and I'm doing it for me. So I'm just I'm really proud and thank you so much for showing up for me, you guys. I really appreciate you as well. Just give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.